Good morning, and I am delighted to be here this morning in Canary Wharf and joined by Sir George Iacobesco, CBE, Chairman and Chief Exec of the Canary Wharf Group. And George, who's been the absolute inspiration for and the vision behind the development, the regeneration of this extraordinary piece of land, Canary Wharf. And thank you for joining us today for the Business of Trust programme. So my first question, uh, Sir George, is if you had to select one civic principle, which would you select and for what reason? I would probably, I think they are all equally valuable, but if I would, if I would emphasize one of them would be the, the point of integrity. And I think integrity starts with yourself first, and then you apply it in whatever you do in life. That kind of integrity, it's not, uh, in a way it's learned, and you learn it in, in your family, you, you learn it in high school, you learn it in university, and then you learn it from the people that you're dealing with and in the business you are. But as long as you, you have integrity to whatever you do personally, then that will seep, that will uh, spread in everything you do, and it will spread in your relation with the community. The first high-rise building that I ever built was in Chicago and it was a 64 tower story. And we negotiated, the, the building took about three years and a half to build, and we negotiated for about two years the contract. As we finished the negotiation, the general contractor came back and said, we believe so much in the integrity of the company that you represent that we don't want to sign the contract. The contract is much more valuable to us unsigned than signed. So you can put even a financial value on, on integrity. So that concept of personal integrity, personal responsibility, as the absolute bedrock before you go any further. A very, very clear answer, thank you. Which takes me to my second question, Sir George. We've been talking about the recommendations that the leaders of tomorrow have come up with to support better business trusted by society. And I wonder if there was a particular recommendation here that you would select and choose and promote? Looking at all these points, they are all very good points. In a way, they wouldn't be here if they're not good points because it's all for the future, it's all good practice, it's all, it's all everything that you, you need to do right. But I would definitely pick up the have a clear purpose beyond profit making. And the reason I'm saying that is that, of course, we are in a business to, uh, to do a good you know, uh, to, to grow the company and to, to, to do development. But I think the basic of it is to do a good service for the community around you. And that community could be business or it could be the local community. The same thing applies to, um, to, the lo to our relation with the local community. Um, just to give you an example, as a service to the local community, we have, uh, we have given to the local uh, trades, the local SMEs around Canary Wharf, about 1.8 billion pounds worth of work. And as, as a service to the local community, when we started Canary Wharf, uh, the beginnings were not that auspicious because the local community couldn't see the value of a new development in the area. And practically, we hired the leader of the local community and, and asked the leader, teach us. We are new neighbors in an old community, so teach us how to be of service to your community. And uh, the local leader, um, the late Peter Wade, who was a fantastic leader and a fantastic help for us, said, I will join you, but you, if I don't see you servicing the local community, I will walk away from it immediately. That is a great example. My third question really is to say if there was, this is a complex agenda, there isn't a single light switch you can, you can yeah, turn yeah. on or off, but if there was a single recommend, recommendation that you would offer to a mentee or to the community that you engage and support, uh, next generation leaders, whomever, about building trust, what would it be? Well, it's, it's, a, it's an easy question, it's a very difficult answer. You cannot buy trust. You have to earn trust. And in a way, you have to start from day one, 
but it's only your company and your your own behavior that will make people trust with you trust you, you it could be a year it could be five years it could be ten years trust cannot as I said cannot be bought you have to engage the community with you you have to share your dreams with the community you have to raise the community's eyes up to to the goal that you want to achieve and you have to be consistent in what you do uh, we have nothing else but reputation and integrity and once you lose that you lost everything fantastic and as i've often said god trust arrives on foot and it leaves on the galloping horse george thank you absolutely for that. right my, my fourth question really is just a simple binary question um, We've been talking about the business of trust program, the civic principles, and these recommendations. Yeah. And it is that can this program, can the civic principles, help restore trustworthiness and rebuild trust? I think it can help. And as I said, it takes time. But it's a very good, I wouldn't call it first step, because probably others have tried. But I think it's a, it's a great proof. In a way, the proof is in the pudding. You represent the city corporation. You represent the business community. So people will look up to what you produce and they'll see that this is the message that you as the representative of the business community, of the business world, are giving back to the community that they should trust you and that there are points of light in the business community that want that trust to be restored and that they are in a position to make it happen. Sir George. Thank you so much for those answers and thank you so much Pleasure. for engaging in our business. Thank you so much. Again. Thank I you. I really appreciate it. Pleasure. Thank you.